our machine. So the first two buttons at the back. That should be flashing. And two buttons at the front. And you wait, you just have a look at this one. And then this one. So we can move between the three levels by pushing this one. And then on each one you can make it higher or lower. So we can turn that one to zero. Now we have a single pulse of TMS at 30%. If we want two pulses, then we can have two pulses like this. Red is to stop coil. Green is to get ready, which is very confusing. And when you press green, you then get these two lights appearing. And then when you want to go, you press orange, yellow. heard that. <laughs> Nothing much happens. And then could you just watch the moment of it? So after you press the button, you get this goes off for about three to four seconds. And that means it's not ready to give another pulse. And when it's green again you can then press another one. So if you do it in the meantime nothing happens. When it's back on green, you can get another one. <laughs> um, let's do a nice big one. There's nothing magical about a hundred. It's loud, but it's not necessarily dangerous. Usually about 50 is the right number. So you have a single coil, single coil uh, connected to this box. And then these, these two extra coils then these two extra wires connect the, the individual boxes into the same coil, so you can have two pulses from the same from the same coil. This one is the first pulse, and that one is the second pulse. That's the intensity, and that's the difference in time between them. Um, when you're in this mode, when the single coil but two machines working, the bottom machine will show nothing, three three dashes, but it does need to be on. And the top machine is the one you can control. you control by moving between the items. One problem or one feature that you need to be aware of is that when you, if you have the two machines together, if you reduce that to zero, you then get three lines here. So the time between the two pulses is now zero. And what that means is both machines are firing at the same time. And that means it's not 30% anymore, it's more like 35%. So although it says 30, it's actually both machines producing 30. So the overall intensity is higher. So you've got to be really careful that you don't accidentally set this to, to zero during your experiment because it will change the intensity of the pulse. So that's one mode where you get two machines, one coil at the same time. A different mode is two machines, one coil, different times, in this case one millisecond apart. If you want to move to, instead of one coil, having two coils, then you need to turn everything off, 
start again and uh, remove this coil. So let's do that. So we turn off here. And then at the back. When this is off, we can then unplug each individual cable. So now we have the these two two pairing cables not doing anything, not connected to anything. If you want the first coil to be this one, then you plug this cable into the top. So you rotate, click, and then rotate the cuff. And then the second coil you can plug, plug into the bottom. Same thing, red triangle at the top, rotate, and then rotate again. And now you have two machines working independently. So you can turn them both on. So you can turn them both on, and now they should work independently. So you can now turn on the bottom one ind independently of the top one. So that's now armed, and you can get a pulse from this coil. And you can also turn on the top coil independently, and get a pulse from the other coil. Those are the three modes of the bystand.